okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use an oscilloscope within the Proteus so first of all you must have to look on the pane at the right at, at the leftmost side of the Proteus here you can see this sign just click it and on the top of all the devices you can see the oscilloscope just come and click on the main window okay now we have an oscilloscope now you can see that there are actually four terminals on which we can get any type of signal any type of electronic electrical signal and can have its waveform displayed on the oscilloscope so the first one is a and is shown by a yellow color the second one is blue and is shown by blue color the third one is c and that is of red color the fourth one is d and that is of green color so first we must have to display some sign function or any other function you can take and can display it on the oscilloscope so we just put it there and we will come and just click there and attach it with the sign wave source here you can see the amplitude so amplitude is the actually the maximum magnitude so we will just take it like uh, 12 peak amplitude that is 12 frequency we can set it to the 5 hertz and then we will press ok then we will run it and here we can see that as we have connected the sine wave form with the yellow with the yellow display so we can see that signal is displayed in the a or in yellow wave form so here you can see that we have a dial and you can see it on on leftmost it is it is written v and on rightmost it is written millivolts so it actually range from 2 millivolts to like 20 volts so then you can see that now we are decreasing the value on the gauge and you can see that our waveform is getting straight okay now we just uh, hold the gauge on one volt now now you can now you are supposed to write what is called as the uh, boxes because if there is one volt it means that one box on the grid is actually one volt so one two three four and so on then we have to move towards this time or x axis gauge here here you can see that we are going to increase the time and you have seen that we got our full wave why it is so because on x-axis our time is 20 millisecond means that on x-axis one box actually represents 20 millisecond but still our like um, what it is called as the magnitude or our wave amplitude is out of the screen so in order to adjust it just yeah just increase this v or this gauge to 2 so what it actually means now now our every what it is called as the uh, the grid box one box so it is of 2 volts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so around 6 boxes are 
from from 0 to the maximum amplitude so it is actually 2 multiplied by 6 boxes so it is 12 volt because it is AC so plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt that is the positive cycle is of 12 volt and negative cycle is of minus 12 volts again you can decrease it to 5 volt then you can see that it is like uh, 1 2 3 uh, we, we are supposed to uh, adjust these cycles like this okay okay now 1 1 and 2 just 2 and 2.1 so 2 5 is a 10 and yes so 2.3 multiplied by 5 is approximately what's called as the 12 volt and same on the positive side like 1 2 and and this is half so it is our, our point 2 so it is 12 volt now yes now you can see that yeah so on x axis it is like a, what's called as the time and on y axis it is the amplitude so can we put some uh, more signal like uh, you can say that we can like uh, we we just okay now we will take one d clock or digital clock so clause is actually a stream of of signal that is usually of square type that is square wave type so we will attach this with the red waveform and we will click it and high frequencies like uh, 10 10 hertz okay and uh, we will press ok then we will run it and you can see that with this red or maroon color like it is it is showing us the clock pulse so you can see it so what actually its amplitude is as we know that its amplitude is just in one box you can see that from x axis or on y axis it is just the one box it is just the one box and one box actually representing 5 volt so the signal is a 5 volt